Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Uncle Larry's Garage. I knew who I am, who are you? I'm your Uncle Larry. Probably said share my videos. And God, for God's sake, share my videos. It takes one little click, for God's sake. Anyway, today's Monday, so kind of bear with me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about phrases, origins of phrases, how in the world some of these phrases were developed, you know. Uh, for instance, <clears throat> Everybody's heard this one, get on a plane. Get on a plane? No, 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 I'm not evil Knievel, folks. I'm not getting on the plane. I'll get in the plane, and you're gonna have enough trouble getting me in a plane, let alone on a plane. So there's one. How about this one? Take a shit. Where are you gonna take it? Okay, so here, here's some shit. Where are you gonna take it? You gonna take it somewhere with you? Why? It goes right along with give a shit. So I got this shit here, so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you this shit for what's behind curtain number two. You know what I mean? It I don't get it. Where did this come from? Which goes right speaking of shit, let's go right into shit faced. Now I know what that means. It means somebody's really, really drunk. But shit faced? Where did that come from? Somebody got so drunk fell face first into a pile of shit, got up and Bill says, look, he's got shit on his face. Let's call that shit face. Maybe, I don't know. And speaking of drunk, wh where did drunk as a skunk come from? Now, I've, I've been on this planet 66 years and I've seen some things. I've seen skunks, not a lot. My cousin had one when we were kids, but it had the scent gland removed. But i never seen a skunk drunk. So where where did that one come from? Help me. Uh, this one, I think the boys out there, you know who you are, uh, can relate to more than anything else. When we were growing up and discovering our manhood, if you will, um, joystick. We, we all know what a joystick was when we were teenagers, didn't we guys? Yeah, of course we did. Of course the girls knew what our joystick was too. Let's face the facts. But is, is that why they took joystick and when they came up with the gaming systems for who else, but us guys mostly, and they created that and they called that a joystick, are they related? I bet they are. Here's one I don't get. Pussyfoot. Well, I know what you got. I know what those of you who know me best, I know what you're thinking. But pussyfoot, where the hell did that come from? I can use my imagination, come up with a lot of things, but I'm not gonna. How about butter someone up? Hmm. Now I have seen Last Tango in Paris a long, long time ago, and I know what it meant there, but how did that develop? Don't know. How about frog in your throat? Now, that would have made a hell of a lot more sense if it was if that phrase was born back when the Muppets were around and Miss Piggy could have said she had a frog in her throat. Huh, Kermit? You know what I mean? But where did that come from? Don't know. This one this one was going through my mind for some reason the other day. Don't ask me why. I wonder who it was, the first person who was walking through a meadow, walking through a field, and saw a cow, and looked under the cow, and saw those big hanging udders down there, and said, I gotta get a hold of those, I bet there's something in there good to drink. Who was that guy? Didn't see that written in the history books. And lastly, this one's a real stretch, folks, so bear with me. I wonder if, I, and I, what brought this to mind was I was driving out of the community today and there was a a uh, sod truck redoing somebody's front yard, which if you're here in Florida, you're familiar with that a lot, like me. Uh, but I thought it said a sod. So I thought, I wonder if there was a, a family, an Italian family who got into the sod business, what they call it, sod of meat. Stretch, I know, that hurt my back just stretching for that one. Uh, 
it, believe me, folks, it's it's not it's not because it's Monday and I'm just I, I it's not because I my drinking or anything like that yesterday or anything like that. It's because uh, I'm still drinking today, so it couldn't be that. So anyway, there you go. Just some thoughts to go through Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry's mind, uh, especially on Mondays. Hey, as always, God bless America. Thanks for the truth for covering our asses worldwide. Uh, men in blue, women in blue, hmm. love you guys. And uh, for all the people who are still dealing with COVID, God bless you all. I'm your Uncle Larry, and I'm out.